First of all, just, just, just before I get into the main body of my speech, I'm just going to say I'm so happy to be married to Gemma Jones. You know when you think you fancy someone and then you see them in their wedding dress? Woo! So, it's five years to the day since I took Gemma on our first date. Five years to the day. No one talks about the McDonald's, we talk about the nice boat trip along the Thames. But it wasn't McDonald's, it actually ended with Domino's, but it's funny because on that day, I knew I was gonna marry you. And looking at you now, I wanna marry you again. Giving away shit. Excuse my French. I'm not having that. I'm not giving it away. Paul, you're a pro, mate. My profession, your profession. Can we not do a deal here? Like, like a lease hire agreement or something like that, you know? Being engaged to you has been the most fun year of my life. Being engaged is the best thing. People buy you champagne, they take you for dinner, they treat you nice, they tell you you look good when your hair's all wrong. It's great. Paul has always been a maverick. Never, never afraid to go it alone. He's that friend that you want in your corner when things are going great. He's the friend you want in your corner when things are not going so great because he's always had a wisdom that was beyond his age. I would not have been able to win the love of a woman like Gemma if it wasn't for my mum. A few years ago, my mum said to me, son, you're too hot with these women. You've got to let them be. Be strong on a couple things, but let them be. And there's so more tr truisms that she said to me. And that's the truth because Gemma is an intelligent, creative, successful woman. She doesn't need me. Gemma's a girl that you need to make feel free and still make sure that she knows that you're there for her. And that's the lesson that my mum taught me. We went to an amazing wedding this year. My cousin Jean and my cousin India, they got married. It was a beautiful ceremony. And in my conversations after with Gene, something stuck out to me. He said to me, I said to him, Gene, what was it like? Were you scared? And he was like, cuz, it's fine. It was like the icing on an already beautiful cake. Their relationship is built on mutual adoration for each other. It's, it's based on mutual respect and a deep friendship. It's built on tolerance and constant moments of laughter, a shared vision of the future, and a shared love of the good life. These, ladies and gentlemen, are the hallmarks of a relationship that ends with the phrase, happily ever after. <laughs>